In this video, I'll walk you step by step through exactly how to collect user feedback in WordPress. That's going to help you make improvements to your site, your products, and your content. And that's going to lead to more conversions, more sales, and a bigger bottom line for your business. Sure, you probably have a pretty good idea about what your website or your products need, but asking your users can really open up an entirely new set of possibilities, and chances are they're going to suggest things that you never thought of. So making changes based on your users' feedback can boost your conversions and your sales. So today we're going to look at a super simple way that you can collect user feedback in WordPress. For this tutorial, we'll be using user feedback. User feedback allows you to easily collect user feedback in WordPress with a click of a button. You can find out what your website users are really wanting. You can uncover what data analytics isn't telling you. You can ask all types of questions and you can start making more money from your site. But best of all, you won't need to mess with any code at all or hire a developer. All right, to begin, you'll want to head over to userfeedback.com and go to the pricing page. Then select the license level that fits your needs. Once you're all signed up, go to your account area and now head over to the download tab and download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. Next, log into your WordPress site. And then on the admin sidebar, click Plugins. And then select Add New. Then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. All right, now you can either click Choose File or just drag and drop the zip file here. Then just click Install Now. Once that's done, just activate the User Feedback plugin. And once it's activated, the Setup Wizard will automatically launch. Now click Start, and I'll walk you through the setup. Now I'll show you how to create your first user feedback survey. Don't worry, you'll be able to change it at any time after you set it up. So pick a question from the available ones or create one of your own. All right, once you're done, just click the Next Step button. Now you want to choose the features that you'd like to enable. So go ahead and enable the ones that you want and need or all that your license level allows. Now you'll want to customize your notifications. So in this step, you'll choose the email address for your survey answers to be sent to and agree to receive the important communications from the user feedback team. You can also choose to help the team better understand their users and their website's needs. Now we're at the final step where you'll publish your survey. In this final step, the add-ons and features that you selected will be installed. And then you can click the button at the bottom to exit to your dashboard. Editing the survey you created during setup or creating a new one is easy. Edit the survey, just head to your admin area, then go to User Feedback, and then to Surveys. Next, hover your mouse over the survey and click the Edit link. Now you'll land on the screen where you can edit the questions that you ask in your survey and the thank you message that's being displayed. So go ahead and add or edit the questions and your thank you message. Now click the Next Step button. The Settings page is where you'll really be able to customize your survey. First, you'll have the option to turn off or on your Google Analytics tracking through Monster Insights. Now, we recommend that you always keep this on. Then in the Targeting box, you can customize where and when your surveys appear, and you can choose which device types they'll appear on and choose which pages. Next, in the Behavior box, you can choose when you'd like for your survey to pop up, how long it will stay there, how long it should run the survey, and whether you want the survey to start minimized and be less visible. Now, when you're done with all these settings, just click the Next Step button at the bottom. And finally, on the notification screen, decide whether you'd like to send a notification to an email address each time the survey is completed. Now just head over to the Publish page. You'll notice that the default setting is to schedule your survey. But if you'd like for it to go live immediately, just toggle the schedule for later switch to off. And there you have it. Now you know how to collect user feedback in WordPress. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.